a double down tube slash double cradle frame cups and protects the engine, and provides the mount for the radiator and its minimal cowl. Tubular steel members make up the frame as well as the subframe, and the oak style, steel swing arm with a rectangular cross section finishes off this structure. The revised swing arm was lengthened to accommodate the 2 inch tire size increase as well as the increased rear suspension travel of 4.6 inches at the axle. Coil over piggyback shocks support the rear end with adjustable spring preload. The front end gets a set of beefy, blackout, 43mm forks, which look really cool but come with no adjustment. This isn't uncommon in entry level rides. So I won't gig Harley any more than I do everyone else, but don't you guys think it's time to start giving us some options here? The technology is available. Just saying. We've got cast, 17 inch wheels front and rear with a 120 70 up front and 160 60 on back, and the hoops themselves are Michelin Scorcher 21 radials that carry the tread nice and height to facilitate the 37.3 degree lean angle to the right and 40.2 degree lean to the left. Twin prop calipers bite the dual, 300mm front brake discs for plenty of stopping power where you need it most. ABS protection is available as optional equipment, so no matter what school of thought you have on that, Harley has you covered. If there's a downside to the ABS it's in the fact that it is non-switchable, so you can't change your mind later if you'd rather ride without it. Oh well, it is an entry-level bike well under 10 grand.